I'm Ms. Artastic and today we're going to draw a cute little spider. Grab your mark making mediums and let's make some art. We're going to begin by drawing our spider's body. So we're gonna draw the head down and the bottom right, body and the top left. Give yourself lots of space. So somewhere along the right in the bottom half, we're going to draw two circles and in each of those circles we're going to draw a curved rectangle and the reason it's curved is because the eye is a sphere right it's a curved shape and we want to create that illusion we're also going to draw banana shapes in each eye so that will be the opposite curve because the eye is so shiny and you can color in the rest making sure that you don't color in the shiny spots. Next, we're going to draw some eyes on the top of the head here. So I'm just going to fill in most of these little circles, just leaving a little bit of white for the glare of the eyes. And now we'll draw two ovals for details on the spider's mouth. Around the eyes and the other parts of the spider's head, we're going to draw some really, really fun and loose zigzag lines. And that will complete its head. Next, we're gonna draw some very big zigzag lines for the fuzzy body. And now we're going to do some legs. I'm gonna start off with the first leg that is hiding behind the hair by drawing a nice big oval. And now I'm going to draw three more curving shapes for the chubby little legs behind. We'll finish the body with a nice big curving line. And now you can see that we have a very cute chubby spider and we can also add a little loop over here for the leg behind that we don't see. Next we can draw nice big curving lines on the back and I'm just going to add a couple little curved lines there to indicate that there's more legs on the other side of this spider that we just, we just can't see, right? Because it's on the back. You can also add a couple lines along the hairy part and that will make it extra cute. And you can add a couple lines here and there to make these legs look hairy also. Wonderful. Look how cute that spider is. Okay, now we need to draw a web. So I'm just going to have diagonal lines come out from a corner of my paper. I'm also going to do it on this side as well. So anywhere you want to have a corner web, you can do it in all corners. It's up to you. So add your diagonal lines, and we're gonna simply connect them with a big U shape or a curved shape.
great. And I'm going to draw a little squiggly line off the back for where he's connected himself. Just like that. All right, my lovely friends, we are ready to color our spider. I'm going to be coloring with felt markers and wax crayons, but feel free to use whatever colors you want to use or whatever mediums you want to use, whether they're oil pastels, you could use pencil crayon, or you can follow along with me and use your felt markers and wax crayons. I'm going to start with purple and I'm going to color in its fuzzy body. I'm also going to skip a line here and every second stripe will be purple as well. Ooh, and I'm also gonna color these with the purple. That'll make it look super cute. Oh yeah. Hmm, I think I'm gonna do this black and I'm just trying to think about a color that I want to do the legs in my head right now. Now once I have that color in my head, I'll go ahead and share that information with you. use this nice bright purple. I'm kind of in between if I want to use pink or purple for the head and legs, but I think I'm gonna use maybe pink for some shadows or something, or maybe a nice soft glow around my spider. And I'm going to color the head with this really nice orchid crayon. knows of a wax crayon that doesn't break, please let me know. Okay, my head. I'll do these cute little legs. Grab that pink, we're gonna do a nice soft glow. Now, if you don't wanna do pink, you could do something else that's bright, like a bright green. That might look really cool. I'm gonna to keep my green out because now I got a cool idea for the web. So I'm gonna do a nice soft glow and I'm just coloring in a circle around my spider. Perfect. Now before I use that cool green, I'm gonna take my white and we're gonna highlight. So I'm gonna use a white wax crayon 
and it does such nice highlights on felt marker. So I'm highlighting the top of my cute little spider and I can also add some more highlights in the eyes. There we go. Now the other thing we need to do is add shadows. So I'm gonna get my black and I'm going to shade the parts of my spider. And that's going to create depth in my drawing. I always love to take my black and just shade around my eyes because it just makes them look extra cute and add some contrast in my art so they stand out a little bit more. Okay, see now he really stands out or she, whatever kind of gender you've picked for your spider. Okay, now let's do our webs. Find yourself a nice bright green. And you can take that green and trace over your spider web lines. And that will make them glow. Once you're done doing that, your cute little spider is done. Artastic Nation, that's the end of this episode. Tune in every Tuesday evening for the premiere of the next episode. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. For more art tutorials, visit my blog at MsArtastic.com. Teachers, find my creative, high-quality art resources in my TPT store, Ms. Artastic. Finally, you can receive free art worksheets for kids by joining my newsletter by simply clicking the first link in my video description. All links are available in the description of this video. See you next time.